Hey everybody, it's Dave. Welcome to the stream. So glad that you're here. Today we're going to talk about metformin for weight loss. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. But before we do, if you could hit that like, hit that bell, hit that sub, make sure you get the notifications for this video. You, you are the best part of this whole channel. And I thank you for being here. So metformin for weight loss. I want to talk a little bit about my own experience with uh, metformin. Uh, metformin is a a drug that is given to type 2 diabetics. Uh, the reason that it's uh, prescribed to type 2 diabetics is because it works by decreasing the glucose production in the liver. Uh, if you've watched uh, some of my videos on the GLP-1 medications, that's what metformin does as well. It, it re decreases the amount of glucose that your liver is putting out. And it also... Uh, is shown to help improve insulin sensitivity in the muscle tissue uh, and uh, in the fat tissue. As you know, or maybe you don't, uh, insulin is what drives the sugar out of your blood and into your muscle and fat uh, tissue cells. And over time, we come, uh, many people can become uh, insulin resistant, which ultimately can lead to type 2 diabetes. So the uh, metformin can be also used as a prophylactic for people who are found to be insulin resistant uh, to help push that, uh, that glucose into the cells. So it helps lower sugar uh, in the blood for people with type 2 diabetes. Now, it's being prescribed nowadays and, and widely advertised for weight loss, which is interesting because metformin is not an FDA approved treatment for weight loss. So it is off label. Now in the Manjaro world, there's been a lot of hot debate over the last couple of months over people taking it off label. This is one example of uh, the fact that diabetes drugs are widely prescribed off label for weight loss. And it's not just the GLP-1 medications. So it is not FDA approved for the treatment in weight loss. My own experience with metformin was terrible. I had horrible, horrible gastrointestinal uh, reactions to the medication, which ultimately had me not wanting to take them anymore. I'm very thankful for that because over time, it led me to these GLP-1 medications. Now, there's a video that I did recently on GLP-1 medications that just broadly covers them. But if you are looking to take a diabetes medication for weight loss, the GLP-1 class of medications are the ones that you really want to look at. Uh, so go back and, and watch that video because it explains in great detail why it is a great medication for weight loss. But the, the metformin is going to come with uh, side effects like nausea, diarrhea, upset stomach, uh, people say that they have a metallic taste in their mouth or they get headaches, muscle pain, skin reactions. Uh, there's a lot of negative side effects that come uh, potentially with the use of metformin. And there have been weight loss trials for metformin, but they've shown that people maybe lose a little bit of a modest amount of weight, but it's generally a very small amount of weight. And again, it's not approved for weight loss. The GLP-1 medications, on the other hand, have been shown in trial after trial after trial to help people lose up to 20% of their body weight. And it's a once weekly inje injection, typically. Go back and check that video out. But I got to say, if you're looking at metformin for weight loss, uh, I would look in another direction and I definitely look at the GLP-1 medications. I hope this uh, video has been helpful for you. If it has, would you mind sharing it in some of the forums and in, in the groups that you're in? That will help this channel to grow. And it also help this information hit the right people. But I appreciate you joining on this video today and we'll see you on the next stream.